to use the Rocha Banya, and the purpose of this project is to find out if a school's water fountain has more germs than a public water fountain. Day one, I have swabbed a public water fountain from two locations, the school's foyer and the Cerritos Mall's water fountain near the food court. Um, as you see, there is nothing on it right now, but there will be a uh, okay. Day four. The bacteria, the prokaryotes have grown. As you can see, there is a translucent yellow on the petri dish. Day five. See the petri dishes has some circular filamentous and irregular shaped prokaryotes. There are some dark yellow, white, and translucent. Prokaryotes are also known as bacteria have two types. Heterotrophs are a type of prokaryotes that cannot make their own food, such as saccharophs, which decompose dead materials to obtain nutrition. Now, autotrophs are different from heterotrophs. Autotrophs make their own food, such as the photosynthesis autotrophs, which uses sunlight to make food. Another one is chemotroph, chemotroph which breaks down nitrogen and sulfur. There are three different structures of prokaryotes. There is the cocci, bacilla, and sprillium. And There are two ways prokaryotes can reproduce, by binary fission and a conjugation. Binary fusion is when a cell divides itself into two identical cells, and conjugation is when a better prokaryote cell connects with a better prokaryote cell. Chemotrophs are helpful because they break down nitrogen and sulfur in the air. Once they break down the nitrogen and sulfur, it goes back into the soil for plants. Then we eat the plants so we get nitrogen for our DNA. While saprotrophs are decomposers of dead materials, without this prokaryote, we would have dead plants, animals, and humans all over the world. I conclude that drinking water fountains are full of prokaryotes. This show me that water fountains are dirty, no matter where it is. Whether it is in a mall or a school, you are bound to find prokaryotes on it.